Hi, I'm Anthony, and today I'm going to be doing a quick electrical tour of my construction trailer. And this was by special request. I'll just be going through each component that I have in the trailer on the 110 household side and also on the 12 volt side. So let's get going. So on my 110 current, I have this plug back here. This is a GFI that's connected to this cable here. This is where I plug into from wherever I'm parked at. From there it goes to this plug and then you see here I got this conduit here and that just follows up around the top of my cabinets and comes back to here. Here is my first two gang outlet box and there I have my my first charger and my microwave plugged in. Coming on the other side of the microwave I've got another two gang outlet box and there I keep chargers for like my flashlight another battery charger down here I currently have a light plugged in here so I can do some filming here I just also added this plug here and this is simply for when I do not have my air compressor plugged in or even if I have my air compressor plugged in but I am not connected in the back but would like to use my microwave or run the chargers or something like that I can take this cable here come over here and plug into a three-way here when that is hot I just bought this cord end to stick on the end here because when it is plugged in the other side these prongs would be hot so I do not want to touch them so whichever side I have plugged in the this orange plug has to go on the other end so that's the household current that I have that's hardwired into the trailer so then I also have this hose reel back here that has a 10 gauge cord on it I run that out to run my air compressor my air compressor plugs in right here or with the three-way that I mentioned previously and when it's when it's not running and I need to roll it up I simply unplug it and I got a hook back here and I just hook it back there to keep it out of the way so that I can spin that handle so having this cable over here now gives me the option of plugging in on both sides on the 12 volt side I've got an outlet box back here and I will provide links and descriptions for the switches that I used the electric eye and all my lights so this is just a 12 volt light this is connected to this battery here I bought a deep cycle marine battery I do have this indicator here it gives me a percentage of the battery it also gives me the volts it's putting out so right beside my battery here I have my charger that is plugged in permanently there connected to the battery and it is a Schumacher speed charger and there's my wiring and it just goes from the back here into the back of this two gang box here for my switches this switch here runs my reverse lights in case I need exterior lighting the switch that I have for back here for my reverse lights so those lights are already connected to my reverse so when I put it in reverse in my truck those automatically come on I did not use a relay for here simply because the amount of amps that this, these lights are drawing was less than what this switch is rated for just a quick note on this plate it is a two gang metal cover you can see there and it is for a switch plate now what you'll have to do is enlarge the holes that these fit in but it's just trimming off a little bit you'll need some kind of cutting wheel I used a Dremel and just cut that opening just a little bit bigger to fit those switches in there here I have an electric eye this is an infrared motion detector or sensor 
and it only turns on when it detects a human moving. It does have an automatic cutoff switch and it is adjustable. That motion sensor there in turn connects to all my lights here. They're four pod LED lights. They come 10 on a string and I just cut them apart and wired them all together. So I have a total of 30 of these lights, three on each rafter of my trailer. And also have three under my microwave to light up my workspace just below. So I hope you've enjoyed this quick little tour and overview of my electrical system in my trailer. If you have any questions or comments, please put them in the comments section, how you would do things differently or what you did, or if you have suggestions for others. Click the like button if you found this video informative or interesting. Click the subscribe button, which is right here. And also I'll add a video here and here for your viewing pleasure. As always, Remember to positively impact those around you and make today the best. Thanks for watching.